you're on a similar kind of path with surfing and snowboarding and all that kind of stuff, putting yourself outside of your comfort zone. Has this been a, a kind of new realization for you or have you always been a person who's like, ah, fuck it. Let's, let's fuck around. Let's find out what happens. Like, wh- wh- where is that for you? I think it's been more conscious as of late. Um, I can, the last time that I could think of something that I had to do that I didn't want to do was maybe like 20, 2016, 2016, I decided I was going to go on this trip basically all throughout the South to learn about what was happening. I wanted to educate myself on what was happening in the South. And I wanted to visit all the African-American history museums and, and do some mentorship work. And when I signed up to do this trip, it's like 21 days in an RV and I was thinking I was just kind of going to get to show up and kind of be a sponge and listen and learn. Ended up being that, you know, some of the schools that I visited wanted me to, you know, speak to the kids and talk about, you know, community police relations and talk about the protests and why we were taking a knee during the national anthem. And so I'm, I'm preparing as we go on this trip to like put a speech together. And I'm at that point really didn't like public speaking. And so that's the last time that I can think of where I was like, damn, I got to do something that I really don't want to do. I'm afraid of doing. Um, and here we go. And so I pushed through it, you know, through these, through that trip. And some of the talks went really well and some of them I bombed. And, you know, that's just how it goes. It's part of life. But I think ever since then, something kind of turned in me to where if I'm afraid of something or if it gets a rise out of me or I start sweating or my body has some type of reaction and I'm intimidated, that's the direction that I want to go. And so um, now I kind of search those things out more. Things really interesting and fun and it's really a part of me and it's something that I kind of challenge a lot of my friends and family to do as well if if they're ready. You know, I feel like you've got to be in a place, you know, your cup's got to be full, et cetera, for you to be able to really be out there um, trying to build adversity and put yourself in challenging spots. Totally. Uh, that's awesome. And, and thank you for sharing that. Uh, it's interesting hearing someone say it's been six years since I had to do something that I didn't really want to do. And I think there's a lot of people who would sit in awe and envy and, and probably jealousy of that. And so it's, it's, it's cool for you to be just candid about that. You know, that is part of your experience. Well, I'll say too, it's a lot of that has to do with, with mindset and like the work that I've done in that space, you know? So like I've, I've said before, um, but for the people that haven't, you know, heard me speak before i started therapy um and mindset work with like a life coach uh in 2016 early early 2016 and the mindset work combined with the therapy and you know the use of psychedelics all like the three things really helped me turn the corner when it comes to just my overall perspective um in life and an example of that would be like Recently, I had a trip I was going to go to. I had a trip planned to Bali because I'm like in between trying to figure out if I want to continue to play or not. I've still been training. I'm still ready to go. But I had a trip planned to Bali. And so the day before I leave for this trip, I get a call from my agent like, hey, we we want you to go work out for a team. And I'm like, okay, so I have to cancel this trip uh, to Bali so that I could go you know, work out. That's what I've been preparing for this whole time. And as soon as I called the airline to cancel the trip, I knew that I wanted to be done with football and that I wanted to go on this trip to Bali. Like as soon as I had to call in and make that, you know, I got the official email and stuff. I was in the shower. I got out and I was like, damn, I'm, I, I'm done with football, like wow. mentally and physically. Like I don't, I don't want to play football anymore, but I had already agreed to go to this workout and I had already canceled my, uh, my flight to Bali. So at that point, mentally it was like okay we're gonna go do this thing you're gonna go prove that you can still play that you're good to go you're gonna go out there and give your best effort and that is what it is because you know that's the position that you're in and so i've built up enough of that in in my mindset to say hey this is the decision now we're going with it don't don't second guess it don't you know sit here and like be down and out and worried about it just okay these are the decisions and these are things that are happening so let's go execute how is that different like if you could put yourself in kenny stills 2015 before you started this therapy and mindset work how how would you have reacted differently in those circumstances we talk about with my life coach we talk about the ability to be able to have something happen to you and then how long does it take you to recover? And that's the measurement in like the progress that we've been able to make. 
And that's how, that's how I look at that is like, I think at that point in time, I would have been, you know, all the way up until the workout in my head, you know, oh, I don't want to be here. I don't want to do this. Why am I here? I wish I was in Bali, you know, all these things where in that, in that instance, in that case, it was like, okay, I made the decision and that's that, you know, in my, in my mind and, and in my body, it was like, okay, here, this is what you wanted to do, but this is what you have to do. So we're going and then, you know, second grass where we just full steam ahead to the thing that we made the choice on. And so I, I think about it that way is like the ability to be able to recover from, you know, anything that has thrown you off of your path and how long that takes you. And sometimes it's shorter, sometimes it's longer, but I think that's, that's how I measure my progress in the space and with my own personal wellness.